Hey, it says in Matthew chapter 14 that Jesus came to the disciples walking on the water and the disciples were freaking out. They thought it was a ghost or something. And Jesus says, don't be afraid, it's me. And Peter said, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, come. And Peter started walking on the water. But he says when the, it says in the Bible there when he started to see the waves and the wind, the, the storm uh, that were contrary against him, that he began to sink. And he cried out to Jesus, save me. And Jesus lifted up and saved him, saved him. And Jesus said, hey, why did you doubt? The point is there that G Peter got out of, the, out of the boat, out of that place of comfort and security. And he was willing to focus on the Lord and come to him. But when he took his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink. You know, when we leave the place that we're used to being and we come out in obedience to Jesus, Sometimes it's kind of like we're walking on water. We're doing the impossible. Some of you, to leave your addiction seems impossible. To leave an abusive person out of, come out of a relationship, that, that, that comfort of familiarity, that security of being familiar, even though you're being hurt tremendously, but to come out of that situation seems impossible. But you know, when you keep your eyes on Jesus, you can do the impossible. You can walk on the water. You can, you can do the business that God wants you to do. You can do the ministry that God wants you to do. You can do the things that God wants you to do. You can obey him as long as you keep your eyes on Jesus. It says, it says in Hebrews that fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, I want to encourage you, come out of that, that place of, of comfort Come out of that place of security and step out on the water in obedience to Jesus. Obey him. Do what he wants you to do. Some of you, you know you're supposed to be tithing and you're not tithing to your church, to God. The Bible actually says that uh, in Hebrews that when we tithe, we're at, Jesus actually receives our tithe in heaven at the same time. I was, I was remind, I actually, I, I saw that for the first time. I've read the Bible many times. I saw that for the first time reading a book the other day, other week rather, and, and Jesus receives our tithes at the same time that we're giving them in the offering plate at church. But it seems impossible that you'd be able to give. I want you. That's the, I want you to trust God and step out on the water on, on, in that situation. Step out of the boat. Step out of that security and obey the Lord. Actually, with tithing, it says Jesus is, is uh, God says in Malachi, that's the last uh, book of the Bible in the Old Testament, uh, to to test Him. God tells us to test Him. Jesus said, "You shall not test the Lord your God." But in that situation, it's okay to test God. Test Him, He says. And see if I'll not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You cannot even contain all that I'm going to bless you with. Does that mean he's going to give you a bunch of money? No, it, he's going to meet all of your need. But he'll bless you in other ways that, that you would, it would be impossible for you to be blessed in that situation other than God blessing you. I want to encourage you, step out of the boat. Step out of that place of comfort. Step into obedience. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and do the impossible. With God, all things are possible. Uh, nothing is impossible to him who believes, the Bible says. And, and the Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Be encouraged. Be lifted up. Be filled with hope. And wherever you go in this life, go free. Bye.